people who lived in Porter Ranch during the Aliso Canyon gas leak two years ago are now getting a closer look at the long-term effects of the chemical exposure. A local physician released an independent health study to hundreds of residents at a meeting in Woodland Hills yesterday. Dr. Jeffrey Nordella found residents had high levels of several chemicals, including uranium, lithium, and styrene, in more than a year's worth of urine and hair samples. Chronic exposure to styrene leads to tiredness, lethargy, uh, memory deficits, headaches, vertigo, and nosebleeds, which many people suffered from there. Residents have demanded a permanent closure of the SoCal gas facility since they learned of that blowout and maintain that position. Listen. What really needs to happen is the gas field does not belong in a populous area. It is outlived its usefulness. It is deteriorated. The facility should be shut down. There is no logical argument left for it to remain open. And just last Monday, a malfunctioning valve on an oil storage tank at the facility caused yet another minor natural gas leak.